In a previous SAP Tech Bytes, we completed the event communication between SAP S4 HANA Cloud and Event Mesh. We also created our target message client for SAP Build Process Automation and a queue to receive these events. The events still need to be forwarded to SAP Build Process Automation, though. In this SAP Tech Bytes, we will focus on this. We will create and configure the components required to deliver the events to SAP Build Process Automation. We will leverage the Webhooks functionality available in SAP Event Mesh to achieve this. In Event Mesh, we have created this queue, which is subscribed to two topics. You can see here the subscriptions. We have a topic for Business Partner Change and Business Partner Creator. So Event Mesh is now receiving these messages, but it will not forward them to SAP Build Process Automation. So in order to do that, what we need to do is to create a webhook. Okay, but in order to create a webhook, we need to create an instance of SAP Build Process Automation, which will provide us a service key. And that's what we're going to configure in this create webhook. But before I show you how to do that, I want to show you two business processes that I created. These are very simple business processes, and the whole idea is to receive the event. So as you can see, I've configured a trigger event here, uh, and this trigger will be of type this is partner created. Now, the same for BP updated. It's a very simple process, and all it will do is receive this uh, event, and then it will show me the form right here. You can see that it's a simple form. The form will just show us the event type and the business partner ID. Okay, so I previously released and deployed this, so this is ready to receive events for us. So let's go ahead and create uh, the objects that we need to create here. So we're not going to create uh, an instance of SAP Build Process Automation, as I mentioned before. So build process automation, select the plan, standard. Now I'm going to set this as a CPA dev, create. And now once created, I need to go ahead and create a service key for this. So I'm going to, now that it's created, I'll go ahead and create a service key. Cool. And the service key details is what I'm going to need in order to create my webhook. From here, I will need this uh, API endpoint. Okay, I'm also going to need the client ID. I'm going to need the client secret. And this URL, which is what I'm going to use to configure my authentication. So I'm going to close this. Now I'm going to go back to Event Mesh and create my webhook. So let's call it BB Create Update. Excellent. Accept handshake. Webhook URL. I'm going to paste uh, the value here for my API. Now here I'm also going to append another value, which is internal BEV1 events that, that you see there. Need to configure auth authentication, my client ID, the one that I just copied, that, my secret. Excellent. And my token URL. Okay. Auth token. So let's create this. And now you'll notice that this is in status paused and no handshake uh, has been initiated. So let's resume this. And this will check our credentials and that everything's fine. You can see that now it's active. Perfect. So now this is ready to send uh, events to SAP Build Process Automation. Okay, let's go ahead and create a new business partner in S4 HANA. So business partner, create person. I'm going to set a first name. Antonio, last name, Diego, hit save. And this should trigger a BP create event, right? So let's trigger a change, Mr. Hit save again. Excellent. So now if we go to SAP build process automation, uh, and let's go to our lobby, we can go to monitoring, and in monitoring we should see two business process that have been triggered. Excellent. We can see that we receive a BP created and a BP updated. This 717 is the same business partner that we had before, right? Uh, and we updated basically that same business partner. You can see it here, the events were received. So if I go 
So if I go now to my inbox and refresh here, we will see two forms in my inbox. We can see the event type here, business partner created, and here, my business partner changed. In this SAP Tech Bytes, we've seen what's required to create and configure a webhook in SAP Event Mesh. In this case, we are using the webhook mechanism to forward the events in the queue to SAP Build Process Automation. The webhook functionality is not limited to SAP Build Process Automation, though. You can also deliver the events to other systems that expose an HTTP endpoint to receive the events. I hope you enjoyed this video on event-driven integration, as there is more to come in this subject. Happy eventing!